Hello and welcome to another Drones Deep video. Today's video is going to be a little tutorial about some creative uh, video editing to use on your Instagram accounts if you have one. Obviously using some drone footage that uh, you've probably got on your hard drive. First of all, a little disclaimer, I'm no expert. <laughs> so what I'm about to do may be a little bit different than how it should be done, or there may be other uh, experts out there who may spot something I'm doing completely wrong. But it's a quick and easy thing that I do on my Instagram account, Instagram slash Drones Deep. What I'm gonna be doing is using a bit of footage that I shot a couple of weeks ago of the village of Elsham where I live. Just gonna try and do something a little bit uh, creative with it and then stick it on my Instagram story. Okay, you're gonna to have to bear with me because I'm gonna do this literally on the fly. Got, I've done no rehearsals, no practice, but I'm pretty sure I should be able to manage to get through it without any major cock ups. So I'm gonna make a Instagram story using some video footage from the shoot I done, well, the recording I did a few nights ago for the uh, village of Elsham where I live. Okay, first thing I'll do is find my longest clip. And it's two over two and a half minutes worth here so that should be good enough um i'm gonna go ahead and select 15 minutes worth from the beginning of this one one there and then i go up to 35 out there and just drop it on the timeline and then i'm just going to rename that to elsham i right, spell it right elsham stack i call it the okay, next thing to do is change the sequence settings because I don't want it being in this uh, this size. You can change the size to fit the Instagram story setting. So I'm going to go ahead to sequence settings and change this to 1080, ooh, 1080 to 192. And hit the OK button and say OK to that one. So now I have my sequence setting looking like an Instagram story. But obviously I don't want to leave my footage looking like that. So I'm going to reduce the size down to it fits in the frame. And that'll do. Not, not, it doesn't have to be too accurate because you're going to play around with it later on anyway. And we'll put that on top. Um, go back to the same clip again. And I'm going to go forward a little bit further and find another 15 seconds. So in point there and long is about 36 seconds, so 1 minute 36 will give me 15 seconds and we'll make another out point there and we are going to put this clip on top of my first clip as you can see now on my program it's overlaid the first clip so I just need to reduce the size of that one again to fit inside the frame do, 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 do. and that's about right there and finally we do it one more time go along a bit further in there, only 15 seconds worth, uh, approximately there, and then dump that again on top. Reduce the size to fit the frame, and just put it down the bottom. Okay, so now we have our three different clips all in a, in a stack. So now if you play, you'll see that they all are showing different parts of the uh, the same video uh, in a nice sort of montage if you like uh, for a cool looking Instagram story. Um, what I'm going to do is just double just go ahead and make all these clips 15 seconds by trimming them down slightly there. So let's reduce that one and we increase that one and increase that one. So now we have 15 seconds worth of uh, same video clip Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up a little bit by just bringing this one down to touch the bottom so there's no black showing on the bottom. Same with the top, there's nothing on the top. And then just move the middle one slightly so they're more evenly spread out. Uh, I'm just going to eyeball it. Uh, that's about looking, that's looking good. Uh, next I'm going to apply my um, sort of custom colour grading, if you like. So I'm going to create a new layer. A uh, new item, sorry, a new adjustment layer. And I'm just going to place it on top of all three clips. And then I'm going to apply my effect. Gives it a little bit more of a contrast, uh, a bit more vibrance to the actual videos, which uh, I, I think personally look much better on Instagram stories. So that's basically it, really. 
there's not much else to say. That's quite straightforward and quite an effective way to make use of some footage that you've got just to uh, keep your Instagram stories going. I can now go ahead and export this now. Export media. And uh, I'm just going to make sure I save it to the right place. Thrones Deep. Uh, video footage. Uh, Elsham 22nd of November. Uh, Elsham Stack. Insta Story. And obviously you can't directly upload to Instagram via your PC. So what I, what I have to do is upload my finished story to my Google Drive and then on my mobile phone, download it from my Google Drive and then I can upload it to my Instagram story. If you wanna see how this looks on Instagram, go ahead and find me at Instagram slash drones deep. I will try and remember to add it to my archive so it will still be there if you're watching this a year later than I actually recorded it. That's about it for me today. Uh, not quite sure if I'm going to be able to get out and about with the DJI Mini Mavic. A bit rainy, a bit drizzly. Um, I've got a few villages that I want to uh, try and take some aerial footage of and a few requests via my Facebook page, uh, Facebook slash Drone Steep. So that's about it for me today and I'll see you again uh, probably next week. Cheers. Cheerio.